Hi guys, I'm Duncan Armstrong and you're watching Brothers of the Grill. Today, we're gonna to be doing baby back ribs. Now, I love baby back ribs. You can do them for three, two, one method. You can do them wrapped, you can unwrap them. There's so many different ways. So many people do them differently. But today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do them offset of the coals on the Weber Summit. I mean, you can be doing them on any barbecue in this way I'm doing it. Just run at the same temps, do exactly what I do, and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. Now, baby back ribs, they come from the back part. So you've got the spare ribs that come from the front. So when you get a belly of pork, sometimes they've got the ribs left in. They're the spare ribs. Baby backs are more shorter, curved over. You've got the loin part of the pig so on the back of those ribs the butcher would cut out the loin so when you see in the butchers the baby back ribs would have been just under that and on the inside where the ribs are curved round is where they would take out the sirloin so there's a little bit about where they come from what part of the pig they come from so all you need for today's cook is one of your favorite rubs some rib glaze some kitchen roll one spoon one knife any mayonnaise of your choice and some baby back ribs. It's always best to pat them down, get those juices off. These are quite a nice chunky rack of ribs. If you start off with a good cut of meat, then you're gonna get good results. So you gotta find and source the best you can off your butchers. What you need to do, you've got the membrane here. You really wanna get that off, because when you slice and take a bite of the rib, you don't wanna be biting into that membrane, plus it helps with getting the rub and flavor in there. So what you need to do is find a part that peels up. <clears throat> you might have to get a spoon or a knife, but you can use a rag as well. So I've got the spoon under there, just to help grip that. See, I've got that now, so. Get a bit of paper towel, that often helps. Just grip it. There you go, that's how you remove it. Don't forget the sides. We're just applying this as a binder. A mayonnaise is a good one to use. You can use all sorts, you can use oil, you could use a little bit of mustard. Let's get that on the sides. You can use any rub you want. I'm, I'm using Fool's Gold at the moment. I'm using that a lot on chicken, on pork, you know. We're gonna use that. You can use any rub you want. Decent coating on there. It's really important with rubs, you do the opposite of what they're called. You pat it on. Don't go rubbing it in, because you're just gonna rub it off. We get a nice coating on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna let them rest for about 10, 15 minutes while we get the coals lit. Okay, so I've got a little tip for cleaning your grill. Get a bit of tin foil, screw it up. Always keep your grill clean, guys. So we're using Big K today, lump wood charcoal. We're gonna be doing what's known as two zone cooking. So the heat's that side, we're gonna have the ribs this side so they're not directly getting that heat. I call it offset of the coals. Often say that in my videos, offset of the coals. So when I say that, that's, that's what I'm on about, offset of the coals. Shall I say offset of the coals once more? No, let's not. So yeah, it's also known as two zone cooking. A lot of people state two zone cooking, they say two zone cooking. Shall I say two zone cooking once more? No, that's it. We're gonna be going about three hours, maybe four hours max on these ribs. I don't wanna go too far. I'm gonna be holding at about 150, degrees Celsius, which is just, just close to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've got four Weber briquettes there, just to help get this going. You don't really need to, but I've put this fire starter, an actual fire starter in there, just to, um, you know, double whammy that I get that big lump there going. We're gonna get this up to temp, and then we'll get those ribs on. So all we've got to do now is just let them coals get going. Also, what I like to do is reuse my trays. If I'm not, if I'm cooking something where I'm not wanting to use the juices for a sauce or anything like that or a dipping sauce i'll wipe that and i'll reuse that that costs money there's no point in throwing them away if you don't need to so that's what i'm going to do reuse that we'll let that get up to temp just it's leading up to the jubilee weekend so just been interrupted by a spitfire but i really don't mind that there's another one up there somewhere where he's gone oh here he comes check that out that's not a Spitfire. Not sure what that one is. But as I say, it's the Queen's Jubilee. That's pretty cool. Loving it over here in the UK. Okay, so now we've got those coals going. 
we're gonna put a couple of nice chunks of cherry. Put one over there and one just there. What I'll also do, I've got a split piece. Not gonna throw it away, I'll just chuck that on top of the coals. That'll smolder away and produce a little bit more smoke. So we just get that dialed into temp now and then we'll be away. Okay guys, so we're now rolling smoke, as you can see. We've got the top vent just cracked slightly, just under quarter turn, I'd say. The bottom vent literally just cracked. It's a hot day. You know, they run slightly different when the temperature, outdoor temperature is different. So you got to bear that in mind when you're cooking. Okay, so we're, we're rolling at 130 degrees Celsius, which is about 265, 270 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put the ribs on. As I say, we're doing two zone cooking, better known as, but I like to call it offset, like an offset smoker. You're, you're cooking offset of the heat source. So heat source that side, ribs are going to go this side. So I'm going to put them as far away from the heat source got that drip tray underneath just squeeze them together like that just slightly because they're going to cook like that if you have them out spread out it's make them thinner if you know that's how they're going to cook so you just plump them up a little bit and that's it basically and we're just going to keep rolling for about two hours and then we'll see where we're at so we'll leave them for two hours and i'll catch you on the flip side mother funksters okay guys so we've been rolling at two hours now i've not even looked in there i've not bothered spritzing or anything like that what we're aiming for in this stage of the cook is to get that smoke and get that mahogany color that's what i'm looking for that's all i'm looking for the mahogany color as i say you can spritz these every you know, every half hour take a little peek have a bit of a spray you know you can use apple cider vinegar you can use water you could use a nice apple juice just helps them stops them from drying out too much oh mate yes so they're still looking juicy. I mean, I, I could have spritzed there. There's a little bit of dryness there and there and there. Overall, they're not too bad. Probably to the touch, yep, they're quite tight still. And as I say, you know, by pushing those together, you can see where it's it's bumped them up a little bit. If you used to stretch them out, they'd be a bit straggly. What we've got to do now is wrap them. Now, when you wrap them, you could use a bit of butter, brown sugar, honey, all that goodness. But I'm literally simply going to wrap these up with a little bit of water just to help help them keep juicy. We'll wrap them, we'll put them back in for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm not looking for any particular temps on these. As I say, you follow these instructions with the temps of your cooker, whatever you're cooking on, whatever barbecue, just stick to those temps and you'll be good. You'll be good to go. Just gonna pour a little bit of water in there, just helps them stay juicy. So back on they go. Okay guys, so we're still rocking at the same temps. I'm just gonna give them a quick probe, not for, like I say, not for any particular temp. Okay, yeah. Tiny amount of resistance, not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll take them off now, we'll unwrap them, we'll get a nice glaze on them, put them back in for like five minutes, just to tack that glaze up, that's all that's for. So you only need like five minutes, job done. Okay, so we just wanna get that all over these ribs. As I say, five minutes and we are golden okay guys they're looking really good i'm really pleased with these um what can i say a decent rack of ribs like i said to you before you've got to sauce a good cut of meat to produce a good piece of barbecue meat let's cut into them see what they're like all i can say is we've cut in these you can try and cut like this most of the time i get i get into the bone because the bones on these are a little bit like that so I normally flip them over, go to one side. I mean, you do, sometimes you will, you know, lose a bit of your bark or whatever. Hopefully, I've nailed the uh, bite. You can just see the smoke ring there. Sometimes on ribs, you don't get a great smoke ring because they're so narrow. Sometimes you'll get the whole thing is pink. Let's see how we did with the bite test. Oh man. Uh, honestly melt in your mouth so you leave a bite mark this is what i say as far as you know ribs are concerned with getting them really soft fall off the bone or leaving a bite mark most people want to see that bite mark on a rib at a competition so let's try this bit not tough at all it's it's proper juicy So you don't have to cook ribs, three, two, one method. You don't have to go six, seven hours on a rack of ribs. These are done perfect. They're still juicy. What can I say? I can't really say much more. They're perfect. I'll have to catch you later. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you've got any comments, questions, if you do yours a different way and prefer them a different way, please comment down below. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the flip side, motherfunksters. Melt in your mouth. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm.